Hello everyone, this is Owen Fox from owenfox.org and higherselfherbs.com. In this video I want to talk about is Facebook good to use, is it bad to use? Do you like Facebook and why I use Facebook for? Um, I use Facebook a lot, I love it. Um, I know it has like certain qualities you might say, maybe it isn't um, it's used a lot for advertising or maybe it's like it might be 100% um, private for example. I'm not 100% sure on the privacy level of it, but all I know is I don't think I've suffered from anything regarding that regard. But um, I use Facebook to connect with and make really awesome, super amazing friends and really heartfelt, deep connections. I use it to connect with people who I really love and appreciate and people who really love and appreciate me. I get a lot of like fan mail and just like, it's really all about the, the deep personal connections too. But also, the, it's about everything really, like I get love and I get positive energy and I give and share inspiration, I receive inspiration from others on Facebook. So really at the end of the day, it's all about what you put out and what you allow in to receive. So this goes for anything. Like you can't just say, I know a lot of people, the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people I hear say I'm taking a break from Facebook or I'm going to give up Facebook. And that's fine. And I'm not trying to say you shouldn't or that you should. I'm, it's up to you. Everybody's different. Um, we all need to make our own decisions in life instead of following the crowd or being a sheep. Uh, I love sheep. I'm not sure. I guess sheep copy each other or something. <laughs> but uh, we need to live our life, guys. Not what other people want or not what other people like or what they find interesting. You know, you have to stand true to yourself and live your life. Don't be a fake, be truthful, be honest, own your emotions, know your emotions, allow your emotions, allow your likes and interests and your personality, which will always change by the way, we're always evolving, changing beings, so honour yourself and honour others instead of trying to force yourself to be different or force others to be different. Sure, we can intend to be different if we want to feel like we make an improvement or to expand or to grow, etc. That's different than forcing and dishonouring what stands to be in existence at, at the moment so there's no point in pretending you don't feel a certain way that's a very great disservice and lie to yourself and also to others but especially to yourself so for example i like facebook like i I've, i i feel good when i use facebook i can use it too much and then my eyes will get tired so then then it turns out to be a bit of a negative for a sh short period of time until i rebalance and take a rest and, and rest my eyes for example you don't want to like sap your energy at the computer you don't want to sap your energy doing anything. We can overdo or underdo anything. So balance is like a key integral uh, lesson to learn in life. And um, knowing when to start, and and for me it was like knowing when to stop, stop or slow down. My personality is naturally like fast moving in my energy, and I find it easy to start things and do things. But um, generally for sure, especially things I'm passionate about, I can go fully hundred percent in focused. But sometimes I get imbalanced and I don't stop. Um, take a break or slow down and that can turn into be negative and destructive and harmful <laughs> so to be honest balance is like a, a very massive huge key ingredient in the recipe of life so Facebook just to wrap up wrap it up Facebook and life so if you have a hobby or an interest uh, allow yourself to explore that it's, it's very important for your spiritual your soul your spiritual journey you have this interest fascination this magnetism this uh, this draw for a reason so you allow yourself to um figure that out and to delve into it like gain and gain an insight into yourself see what what you can learn from this interest or the enjoyment and the, the happiness and the pleasure and the fulfillment or satisfaction you can derive from exploring and going deep into your hobbies and fascinations and interests it could be sea could be cave explorations sea diving Tennis, chess, uh, going around the world to eat, taste your favorite fruits. If you're like interested in raw foods and fruitarianism, like I am, and a lot of my friends are, um, just a general health thing. Um, so many different things. Outer body traveling, whatever you're interested in, you know, like even just sunbathing in the sun. That's what I love. I like simple things like cycling, nature, physical exercise, moving my body, working with the land, growing, gardening planting, wild crafting, wild foraging, just a simple person, I can't sing, can't dance, that, well everybody, everybody can dance, move the body for fun, but you know, I don't, can't do a lot of stuff very brilliantly at all, like very 
well, but I, but I have certain things that I like and that I'm good at, and I allow myself to enjoy these in moderation to my heart's delight. You know, allow yourself to enjoy in, in more than moderation if you feel like it, and then you might get tired of that, and then you do something else, and that's the the natural rhythm and flow of life. So, enjoy everything with integrity, without harming other people, and know when to say no. And if other people are trying to tell you what to do, you <laughs> so a friend of mine had recently people who wanted to go visit to her house, and they hadn't even asked. So if somebody popped into my house without asking. Like, if I didn't want them there, and this person didn't, I'd say, hey, listen, like, you know, 